Today, Wednesday, October the 7th, in this October month of the Holy Rosary, the Church celebrates the Feast of Mary as Our Lady of the Rosary. The Rosary, previously known as the Psalter of Mary, because originally its 150 Hail Marys corresponded to the number of Psalms in the Bible, is a form of prayer originally originating sometime in the 12th or 13th century, and partially even before. Fifteen decades of Hail Marys were recited using beads as counters. While meditating on a sequence of mysteries associated with the life of the Blessed Virgin and Jesus. The mysteries themselves, joyful, sorrowful, and glorious, did not become linked with these repetitive prayers until the 15th century. Beginning with the Creed, then each decade is preceded by an Our Father and ends with a Gloria. Through the Rosary, the faithful are taught to honor our Divine Redeemer by meditating on the principal mysteries of his life and that of his Blessed Mother. It has been described as an epitome of the Gospel, a history of the life, sufferings, and triumphant victory of Jesus Christ, and an exposition of what he did in the flesh for our salvation. Thus, the mysteries are intended to raise our spirit by the impressions they make on our soul. The rosary, as a method of doing this, is easy in itself and adapted to the slowest or feeblest capacity. Though it is addressed to the Mother of God with an invocation of her intercession, it is chiefly a praise and thanksgiving to the divine mercy of her Son. The development of the cycle of meditations owes much to the Carthusians in Trier, Germany in the early 15th century. They, in turn, influenced the Dominican, Alain de la Roche, who used this devotion to revive the Dominican confraternity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The tradition that the Blessed Virgin gave the rosary to St. Dominic as a weapon to combat the heresy of the Albigensians is probably derived from Elaine's claims to have re re received a revelation that this did occur. It is well known that the use of bees or similar objects as a device for aiding the memory is not only pre-Dominican but pre-Christian. Bees for recitation of simple prayers are even now common in several non-Christian traditions. The Rosary gained popularity through the establishment of Rosary confraternities, often under Dominican supervision. In 1559, Pope Pius V, himself a Dominican, gave the order exclusive control over these confraternities. So today's feast itself had its origins in the devotional life of these lay confraternities. It had become customary to celebrate usually on the first Sunday in October when Christian forces won a decisive sea battle against the Turks at Lepanto in the Gulf of Corinth on this day in 1571. The victory was attributed to the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary. In some areas, this also was known as the Feast of Our Lady of Victory. In 1716, the feast was extended to the whole church in thanksgiving for yet another Christian victory over the Turks. Finally, in 1913, the date of the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary was fixed at October the 7th. There was an upsurge in devotion to the Rosary in the 19th century, especially 
because of the Marian apparitions to Bernadette at Lourdes in 1858, in which the Blessed Virgin was reported to have been carrying a rosary. Pope Leo XIII also promoted the devotion through no less than nine encyclical letters on the subject. He was known in some circles as the Pope of the Rosary. In an 1893 encyclical, he claimed as historical fact St. Dominic's role in establishing the Rosary. The Rosary remained a highly popular Catholic devotion through most of the last century, the 20th century. Many carried a Rosary with them, prayed it daily, sometimes as a family. However, there were also incorrect uses Sometimes it would be recited aloud by a parish congregation during the celebration of weekday masses. More often, it would be recited quietly by individuals as a substitute for the mass by those unfamiliar with its prayers and readings in Latin. But then with the Second Vatican Council came a reorientation of Catholic devotional life, centered on the Eucharist, now with a vernacular mass with full congregational participation. Pope Paul VI stressed this importance in an apostolic exhortation. One edition took place in 2002, when Pope St. John Paul II said, it is fitting that a new set of five decades be added, termed the Luminous Mysteries, bringing the total number of mysteries to 20. Yet no Christian is too simple or unleaded to make use of the rosary. Although some remain unfamiliar with it, devotion to the rosary remains one of the most notable features of popular Catholic spirituality. Pope John Paul II placed it at the very center of Christian spirituality. It may be a vehicle of high contemplation, as well as of the simplest petition or aspiration. As a form of private prayer, it comes only after the biblical Psalms and those prayers with which the Church praises Almighty God and the Blessed Mother. Catholics continue to be encouraged daily to recite a decade, or perhaps the full five decades of one of the sets of mysteries. I myself like to do so even before getting out of bed to start the day on a good tack. Development and communication devices now may take the place of having beads for the rosary. Yet a set of rosary beads continues to present a unique reminder of the love that the Lord and his Blessed Mother have for us. It is not uncommon for many Catholics to carry with them a traditional rosary, a beautiful aid to communicate with the Lord Mary and seek their assistance, especially in times of sorrow or anxiety, or as a means to rise up over concerns weighing us down, which have increased of late with the pandemic. It is therefore not just today, but throughout the year, when it is good to ask Our Lady through the Rosary to pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.